What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today we have a brand new Xur location and inventory review for the weekend of December 17th to the 20th and so let's get started. So first things first, Xur is in the Winding Cove on the EDZ and let's take a look at what he has. So first off, in terms of exotics, we do have the Graviton Lance, pretty decent weapon here. We have the Shards of Galanor and that's a great roll. Like 23 intellect for an exotic that you want to be getting your super as fast as possible. Yeah, even though this isn't meta right now, if Bungie ever buffs Blade Barrage and or Shards, this is a great pickup. Then we've got the Lion Ramparts for the Titan, and this is also a pretty decent roll. 63, a good amount of resilience, some discipline, uh, some intellect. I would definitely like to see more uh, recovery. However, yeah, this thing is a pretty decent pickup. Then we do have the Lunafaction boots. Holy crap! A 68 stat Lunafaction. Guys, Lunafaction is actually amazing gonna increase your reload speed massively when you're in a well and holy crap this is a fantastic pickup like i would definitely grab this because you also have a recovery spike as well grab this if you don't have anything better all right so the exotics are pretty lit let's go on to the weapons we do have the escape velocity uh threat detector quick draw eh, you know that's gonna be a very snappy weapon for sure uh but i think you can do better the last dance with under pressure and tap the trigger this is gonna be a very accurate weapon here uh not bad there then we've got the cold denial uh zen moment uh eye of the storm i frankly think you can do better here we have the toil and trouble with full auto trigger system and moving target not a huge fan there Ooh, we have a first and last out here and uh, we do have auto loading and demolitionist like this is a, a pretty good roll however we don't have an extended meg or uh, assault meg here which definitely does hurt uh and generally you want vorpal over demolitionist but demolitionist is, is still pretty good so i think this is like a, a decent pve pickup if you're a new player then we've got the Fallen Guillotine, uh, Energy Transfer, and On Guard. Not a huge fan of this, so I'm going to skip that. Then we do have a Royal Entry, and it's a Royal Entry with Clown Cartridge. The moving target is, is definitely not what you want, and we don't have you know anything here that's super impressive, so I'm going to skip that as well. All right, now let's look at the exotics here for the Titan. Ooh, 58 stack gauntlets, not spiky at all. Let's skip that. All right, the chest piece does have a decent amount of strength. If you're looking for strength, that's a consideration. The, <laughs> the helmet also has a pretty decent amount of strength. Dang. Uh, but 59 is a little on the lower end. And then we've got these boots here with a decent amount of discipline. A little too much mobility in my opinion, though. And uh, let's move on there from the Titan to the Warlock. All right, on the Warlock, first things first. Let me check these Luna Faction boots. 15, 20... Against my own that I was using literally last night. It's close, guys. It's close. Like, these, these are a fantastic pickup for Luna Faction boots. Like, holy crap. All right. Now, for the Warlock. All right. Gauntlets. Not spiky, really, at all. And 61 is okay. Then, okay, this chest piece. That's better than average. We've got a recovery spike here, an intellect spike here. They're not massive, but they're present. And 62 is not terrible. Then, for the helmet, a lot of strength. A little too much mobility, in my opinion. Then, uh, a lot of resilience, a lot of intellect. Not a terrible, you want resilience these days for a well warlock specifically. These are okay. Now, let's go ahead, switch to the hunter. All right, so on the hunter, let's check these gauntlets. Whew! Oh my, uh, well, if you want a ton of resilience specifically, these are a good pickup. Man, if these were in recovery, this would be a literal god tier. But resilience, uh, not exactly. Sheriff Hunters want that too much. Uh, this one, a lot of mobility, not a lot of strength. Honestly, not the worst. Then this helmet, tons of mobility, tons of strength. Th this is actually a solid pickup right here. Like 65 stat, 20 mobility, 17 strength, a little bit of a discipline spike as well. Seriously consider picking this up. This is pretty darn good, this helmet. And then this le these legs, 
Oh, tons of recovery, but 59 is a little bit on the lower end, still spiky where you want it to be, and an 8 mobility is not nothing because, again, when you mass work it, it goes to 10, which is one extra tier uh, in and of itself. So, yeah, consider these legs as well. And so, guys, I think the highlights this weekend, definitely the exotics, all, all three, like shards, lions, especially these Luna factions, are, are really worth considering. And for the legendary weapons... Pretty much none of them. Maybe the first and last out. And then the Hunter's got some ju juiced legendary armor and the other classes, not so much. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content so much as this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.